I don't know what's going on with that. But it's funny because it said 100 and something volts. And so, yeah, right. So I have 38 volts after running 8 kilometers. Or sorry, 10 kilometers. And if I can find the wire, I'm going to charge. I don't know if you can hear that because I found a microphone. But we are now charging off the inverter. Off of one of two backup power supplies. And that battery. Under load is uh, not looking too, too good. But I got some updates. While I was riding around, I stopped at a friend's and he gave me a rear rack that fits really nice on my back wheel so I can get rid of that ugly uh, ball sack bag that my controller's in under my seat and put it on the back rack and when I get my front hub motor I can put that also on my back rack and then we figured out how to attach I have to drill this out a little more so it fits in closer but got a spare wheel attached which it's on there good but I bungee cord as well and I figured out why my solar panels weren't all working. On my last video, you seen I had that one working, charging up those two 20 amp hour, actually 18 amp hour is what they're labeled as. And those are labeled as 22 amp hour. These I've had for a year and they are way better than the 22 amp hour. So I'm gonna call those 20 amp hours. But anyway, that's charging off of that controller. That controller wouldn't charge because I have the polarity wrong because I'm a stoner. So I had to switch the polarity on one of my solar panels. And now I had this wire both with two females so I can jump from there to there and put two panels on there or have all three panels on here or have one panel on there. Or I can put all three in parallel and run it off of that because that's now working. Or I can put two in series run off of that, or three in series and run off of that. So I can configure them any way I want now. Which is cool because I can charge after dark and early morning and late evening. Like right now there's coop all for sunlight. But I can throw all three panels and charge that up. I can charge on a cloudy day. So I can always charge any time of day now. But then my friend gave me this air pump, which is only 250 watts. So I can run it off the inverter. And my air mattress, I swear, it took me like three hours to blow up my air mattress last summer. It was insane. It took too much energy to get to where I got to. And then I had to fight for three hours with my air mattress. So that's that problem solved. And then I have a spare wheel tube, patch kit, so I'm good. So everything and like everything is functional and working. I don't remember that noise. It sounds like cricket tunnel. Cheap inverter, I have another one of them. So yeah, it was at 38 volts. Let's see if I can do this single-handed. Oh, okay, I thought I was at 38, but I wasn't getting good reading. And that is charging. Not the clarity of things, everything should be right. I don't know what it's doing. Yep, it's charging. So now the only thing left is to wait for uh, good weather to take my big 200 to 250 kilometer trip. I also got, a, got my mic figured out and I found out my phone has video stabilization. I don't think it's as good as the action camera but it's better than using the action camera with no mic so stay tuned i think the very next video is me taking a long 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 trip a three night journey we'll see how that works out if it will make it ops my wheels no longer fall off anyway peace i forgot there's one more thing i wanted to show you I forgot to mention i got a brake light which looks like it's blocked, but it's actually not. 
I got a little matching headlight. Adds a bunch of like flashing settings. And then I also got this. Just some cheap LED lights. If they'd stay on.